We're here in the Togal, and this is Tehran. And here, I'd like to give you the context for a poem of mine titled Bicker and Better. It starts with a single image, that of a house or a hamlet, a shack upon a hill. And what I want to do with the poem is to transform that image, that classic image that is seen everywhere on planet Earth, to the planet Earth itself. Planet for us is that little home upon a hill. And the hill that, or the continent that that little house sits upon is space, the outer space, the universe. And just the same way that we can treasure that little hamlet, that little cottage, and we can call it everything, we can witness it as everything for us and see our lives pass through it from childhood into adulthood to family life and into old age. So is Earth. And though the scales are grander, and though when we speak about the planet and about the solar system, we're talking about time beyond time, time that is immeasurable and almost inconceivable to the human mind, though it works on grander scales, it is still the same in the smaller. And we need to value this world. We need to treasure it the same way that we treasure that little house upon the hill. And now, I ask your pardon if I put myself as a moralist or start preaching, but the reality is, is that look, we look at this over here, and it is a disparity. It is a mess. It is a disorder. And not just Tehran, but New York. L.A., Paris, and all the other great cities, they are disparities. They just look at the mountains here and then look upon the valley down there, what that has been rendered into, what that has been transformed into. There is something that is being lost. And with Bicker and Better, in the poem, when the stars aglow, Keep whispering through the smog-riddled welkin, caressing the flesh of warm bloods, so down beneath them, leaking still into our pores, no matter how deeply we continue our reclusing. Look at our reclusing. We're down in the valley. We're not high up in the mountains. Here is where you feel alive. Here is where there is fresh air. And down there, there is a perennial smog that you can see, I think, through the video. And it's a tragedy. And I think that it's something that we all will have to face and that we all do face already. And that even from the young to the old to the oncoming, there is one message, one note. If you're still kicking, you've got a duty to the living.